Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Word. In this module, we're going to look at how to allocate shortcut keys to Word commands. We'll also look at how to allocate shortcut keys into symbols, so you can insert a symbol on a shortcut key. So first of all, what do I mean by shortcut? If you move your mouse, for example, and hover over an item on the ribbon, it will tell you what it is, and as you can see there, it also tells you what the control key command is for this particular feature. So for bold, I could click it with the mouse, or I could just do control and B. So control and B would make that bold. And then if I do control and B again, hit the wrong thing there, so you can see the bold is off. Now, quite a lot of key commands are standard, but sometimes things that you want to do are not on a key command. For example, I like to use um, different styles. So when I go into styles, I, I use these styles and I use this one in particular, heading style two. So if I type that and put heading, there you can see the style of that heading. And if I just right click on that and modify, you can see what that is. So it's this is the font to Homer, 12 point and it's bold and there's no spaces after it, like so. Now, there's nothing wrong with clicking that on, and when you type underneath, if I just type some rubbish, it just goes back to normal font. But what I'd like to do is allocate key commands to things like that, because if I'm on a different tab and I want to do a heading, I don't want to have to keep coming back to home and select heading two. So I, I want to add a, head, a key command myself for that, and to do it, I need to be in the Word Options feature. So to get there quickly from where I am, I can go from this little down arrow and go into More Commands, which will uh, simulate that I am wanting to customise the toolbar. I want to customise the ribbon. And when I do that, it comes up with Customise down the bottom there. And this is about keyboard shortcuts. And it's as simple as this. You find the feature that you want. So I'll pick, let's look at insert a chart, for example. Now, according to this, there is no current key commands for insert chart. So what you have to do in this little box is give it a key command. So I'm going to put Alt L and currently assigned unsigned. So then I'll assign that Alt L. So that's going to bring a graph in there. I'll just leave that one for a minute. And then if you come down this list, you're looking for other features that you might want to give a key command to, and like so. Now, if I go down, that's the Home tab. You've got Borders. All the features that you have on the ribbon have got the option, if you want, to put a key command or allocate a key command. So Edit Cut, for example. Control X is already preset, and that's the one most people would use. So you don't need to do a key command for that, unless that one's too complicated for you. Edit paste is control V, and then you've got another key command option there. So there's lots of key commands already preset, but there are lots of commands without a key command as well, just equally as many numbers probably in terms of things that haven't got a key command. So that one hasn't. These, not many of these do as you come into this sort of area all these sort of features haven't got a key command. Now, if you keep coming down um, on this left-hand side, you'll go into um, macros. If you've created macros, you can you can create a key command. You can see chart tools, text box tools, you know, and then all this is to do with text box. So if you've got a text box on that, I'll do that. You've got organizational charts and things like that. If I put that in there, this allows you to move these things around with a key command. Not many key commands, as you can see, allocated. So if you're doing this type of work quite a lot, you want to probably give it a key command. And then you just use that key command going forward. So this is header, header and footer options. You can see there, ink tools coming down, 3D models, all of, all, all of the commands and all commands so if you wanted to scroll through the whole thing uh, you could do and then down below this you've got macros if you've created any macros i haven't 
different fonts that you can select if you want to change font rather than dropping this arrow down and selecting a font building block items styles there's heading two and according to this it hasn't got a style allocated so I will allocate alt one so that's currently assigned so let's do alt two that's unassigned so I'll assign that one then you've got common symbols so there's lots of different symbols here but I'm going to go a different place to do symbols but you can do it in here non-breaking space key command see some of these key commands are quite long-winded control plus shift plus underscore I'm not doing that key command that's too too difficult you know so if you're using that type of thing so that non-breaking space is um, well, that's a non-breaking hyphen actually but the non-breaking space will be in here as well that, that's to do with stopping things dropping onto a second line like a sentence uh, Newcastle United you don't want United to drop onto a second line so you put a non-breaking space in there the key command would be good to know if it's got three characters already use the alt key and select some of the some of the easier ones to remember but you can see all these different symbols down here um, but let's just go and have a look at to see if that one worked if I click OK to that and then so Alt 2 that's already depressed the heading 2 so it is going to work I shouldn't have used Steve actually because it's that's uh, Alt 2 again and then call it test there you go test and it goes back to normal so the key command work for that one and Alt L was the key command I gave to bring in a chart so that just did, did that so if you're doing that all the time it stops you having to go up to insert chart which is not a massive um, thing you can see it's put my key command there now before that probably wasn't a key command at all that screenshot hasn't got a key command now there is something I should probably do a key command on because I, I do use that all the time and it's up there yeah, that's what I'm going to do next. Once I finish this video, I'll allocate that one. Now, I said about the symbols. So if you go across to symbols, so I'm on the insert tab. There are shortcut commands for symbols. If I go into more symbols, you can see recently used ones. You've got like a character code there. That means you can use the alt key and then the number pad. And it has to be the number pad, not across the top of the screen. So if, if I wanted that one, for example, I would do 0109 and it should bring that uh, micron symbol in uh, or I could just insert it as you can see but I'll insert it just there you can see it coming in there and another one I want to bring in uh, is the uh, degree symbol that one or one similar to that 176 so let's just have a look at this close that off so if I do I forgot already alt 0109 that brought an M in, so that didn't work. So Alt 0176, that did work. That brought the um, the correct symbol in. So it's, if you're using a degree symbol all the time, that's a quicker way of doing it. Rather than going insert symbol, you can just give it a key command, or you can just change that key command because that is a a very old old key command. The Alt keys and the number pad. That's going back 20 years. That I know of more than 20 years. So that's been around a long, long time, but it's e equally just as easy to go into customize the ribbon shortcuts and give it a key command that makes more sense to you. So you don't have to remember a series of numbers. Now, obviously, you will have to make a note of these key commands. Otherwise, you, you may forget them yourself because um, the whole point of doing it is to speed things up. So don't do too many. Just do the ones that are of use to you or relevant to what your work is. But that's basically how you allocate key commands in Word, so you go basically into more commands, or you can go Word options. That's where we are. Customize ribbon, customize, get into shortcut keys, and then fill your boots. You've got all them, all of these different options down there, you know, and whatever you want. So help is F1 look. You might want to give it something else. Just click in there, do the key command, and if it's not allocated, you can allocate it yourself, and that's how you do that. And you've also got the option to do it in here for the symbols as well common symbols and fonts so that's all i want to talk about in this little video chalk keys to word features and how to add 
shortcut keys to symbols. So hopefully that was of use to you and thank you for your time. I'll see you on the next one.